what is up everybody and that's a wrap the san francisco giants take it three to one in miami in a critical game because you do not want to go into miami and lose a series against one of the worst teams in baseball record wise after you've already not had a great start to the 2024 season a team that's been uh, hyped up this offseason for all these signings and to come into 2024 not so not looking so great it would have been a real real disappointment to lose the series it doesn't happen the giants take it three to one behind keaton win keaton win was fantastic today and uh shout out to him for pitching six strong giving up four hits only one run one mistake to de la cruz i think that was a mistake that he crushed one but uh, much 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 needed victory today we'll wrap the game up and talk about it obviously not in studio today but uh we still got to do the post game show and camilo doval comes in first of all tyler rogers with the setup and camilo doval with the save to close out this one and the giants take it three to one not a lot of runs the offense did just enough today with some key hits I was nervous when Solaire was running fast around the base. I didn't want him to pull anything. No pulling hammies here. No hammy pulls, please. I always say get us four runs, and with this pitching, we win. Much needed for sure. Win gets the win. I told him I was going to call him Keaton Loss until he would get a win. Congratulations. You are now known as Keaton Win. Keaton Win. I'm wondering if Lee is going to lead off in the game in the near future. It was a must win. Yes. Uh, first series win in Miami since 2016. That's insane. Um, as long as the Giants score one more run than the opposition, I don't care how many runs they score. Yeah, a W is a W. A W is a W. Jung Hulis are riding a nine-game hitting streak. Uh, let's go. How many more to go? What's the goal? 56, right? We got the super chat to continue the streak. The streak continues. Wow. Even in the car. The streak continues. It's Michael Roeder keeping the super chat streak going. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What's up, Matthew? What's up, AM Echo? Sky Jorges, what's going on? Clarenco is here. Finger, yes, number one all the way. Mike, I don't know why. StreamYards won't let me put in the uh, the emojis, but uh, that's something they need to update on. Eric, if Wynn continues dominating, will they put him in the bullpen? No, not if it continues dominating. I mean, we'll have to go to a six man or something like that. But and like I said, there's lots of guys coming up uh, uh, in the minors. But Giants are pretty much set this year, especially when Cobb and Ray come back. Cobb, Ray, obviously Hicks, obviously the two big ones with Harrison and uh, Logan Webb. So that's five. And if if this guy keeps pitching well, what do you do? Um, but that's a long time away from now. Giants are going to cross that bridge when we get to it, when Ray's healthy. First, Webb's got to come back, and then Ray's got to come back. And by that time, who knows, somebody might be hurt. Somebody might need to go on the IL or something, or somebody might be sucking. Who knows? You know, even Kyle Harrison, I, I hope I hope this doesn't happen. But if someone like Kyle Harrison is struggling, you know, he may uh, either get sent back. I hope not. I certainly hope not, but I'm just saying you never know what the future holds. So Giants will cross that bridge when they get to it. But Cobb and Ray are progressing well. Um, and just to recap this game, the Giants did strike first. Jorge Soler got a base hit, and it was Tyro Estrada with the double. How can you play bye-bye, baby, going down 85 down the freeway? Very difficult. Very difficult. Um, not very safe. But um, here on the Hum Baby Baseball channel, we, we, we got to go for it. But no, actually, I'll, I have a clip of the, of the, of the song. We'll have to just play the clip today. Uh, the Marlins tied it up in the sixth with a De La, De La Cruz bomb, making it 1-1. But then it was the Giants in the seventh. Estrada with a hit. Bailey with a hit. Ahmed grounded out into a double play. But that brought home a run. That was all the Giants needed. But Matt Chapman with a double in the eighth. Added one extra to make it 3-1. And that's your recap. Brought to you by Alberto Vasquez. Tomorrow is Webb, Kayla. The Giants will play a four-game series starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is the big one. Matt Chapman with the crucial run batted in. Big W, you know, I, I, honestly, this is how you get out of a, a slump. This is how you get out of a, a poor start to a season. Win a series. Win a series that, that you're supposed to win and then just kind of get things going and, and win another series. Tomorrow would be nice to... Keep the uh, the winning streak going here, and uh, 
but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, obviously, I, I was pretty upset yesterday after the, the loss, but we'll take the series win. You can't expect to, to sweep every team. The Jazz will play four games starting tomorrow. We need Cy Young Snell to pitch on Friday. Friday's a big one with Snell. Uh, but do do. I want to go back a little bit. Morgan Farmer, how are you doing? Going to the Giants D-backs tomorrow. At Oracle, the Giants will be hosting the Diamondbacks, the National League champs. Not going to be an easy series. Um, and then the Mets come on. Uh, uh, so some tough series. Mets are always got talent, despite the fact that they're Mets. Um, I'm the only one chatting. Yeah, I saw it was silent. Okay, uh, uh, Micah, no, I didn't go to the game today. Uh, and uh, our offense... Yeah, I'm a little lame. Not, but yeah, yeah, I thought, okay, yeah, today maybe because it was early, but a lot of times I'll go into a chat, my chat to check it out, and if we're winning, like, there's nobody talking. If we're losing, trash team, suck team, it's over, garbage team, fire him, fire that fire, fire Bob, Melvin, fire uh, Farhan. <laughs> it's like, when we're winning, we need some positivity as well in the chat, but you guys come through for the post game show. I do appreciate it. I might be going to a Giants game in June. LOL Mets are always going to LOL, LOL Mets. Um, but today, great game, great W. Fire everyone, trolls. Fire everyone. There it is. I was just going to stay live until Jason Corona showed up. We could have been here for eight hours. Um, and there he is. Jason Corona for the W. I started a little shaky. I got the car uh, running right now. But, uh, Jason Corona for the W, nine, nine, nine. Oh, my goodness. And Jason Corona has been unbelievable. And all y'all, thank you so much for the support. This is, uh, are we hitting May yet? No, no, it's April 7th yet. Next month's the big month. The new computer's coming in, and we're going to be stepping it up. Thank you for that super chat. Yeah, so um, this upcoming series, this upcoming couple series, we have to see better stuff from Snell. That's the biggest one. Also, Logan Webb has been a little, you know, he had a rough spring. He's shown some bright spots, but hasn't been the Logan Webb that we want to see. Kyle Harrison has been pretty good, but again, not completely dominant. Um, and uh, we just I want to see this pitching staff find their footing here in the 2024 season. So that every night we can be confident. Every night we can say, who's pitching? Oh, we got this. Snell's pitching. We got this. Cobb's pitching. We got this. I mean, Cobb's not even back yet, but I'm just saying, whoever it might be, we want to be confident every night with our starting pitching. And uh, we are uh, can get to that point soon if these guys can uh, and win, win today. We win today. I'll be confident next time we see him out there. I know it was against a Marlins lineup, not the best lineup in baseball, but still, Micah, even some trolls be in the chat when the Giants are losing early. To just got out of a meeting. Sorry for the delay. Oh, not even a problem. Because I know you got big meetings and stuff with someone as important as Jason Corona. I mean, who knows, dude? I mean, constant meetings, constant people coming in for, um, you know, for, for advice, for, for help with their finances, with their taxes. I mean, I'm sure you're on top of that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Jason Corona is big time. I mean, big time. Micah, hire Farhan and Melvin, hire or fire? Hire, we've already done that. So we got that on lock. Uh, no more bullpen games. I hate bullpen games. I hate bullpen games. I, I don't know. I just think some, some. I don't know why the, whenever the Giants are losing, I know this, I won't call them out, but there's a certain few of my, of my people who I appreciate their support, but they're there every, every, every time before the game ends, talking how terrible the team is. But when we're winning, I'm like, where is everyone saying, uh, dude, Giants are looking great? We got this one. You know, lights, we need some lighting here. You know, um, I don't see that that too often, but you know, so if anybody wants to jump in early, feel free to jump in early. If you see the chat, I mean, if you see the 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 the, the thumbnail, that means you can jump in there. And uh, Joe Boyd, I'm happy they won. That's as simple as that. I hope this team will score more runs with runners on base. That's the big key. Had a couple of big hits today. Chapman, obviously, big hit from Estrada, even though technically Soler wasn't in scoring position. If you're going to hit a double, bring a home run from first. We'll take that all day long. So very nice win today from the Giants. And uh, Bailey with, with some hits. I mean, I, I don't have the box score in front of me, but 
Um, I know that um, we did just enough today to win it behind some very strong pitching. And shout out again, player of the game today is going to be Keaton Wynn for six strong innings. We have a five spot somewhere. Robert Luna from Dallas Fort Worth. Where is the super chat? I see it, but I'm, I'm, I'm unable to put it on the screen here. Oh, there it is. First time super chat shout out from Giants fan in DFW. Robert Luna been a supporter a long time. I know all about DFW. Um, and, uh, you know, I love to visit and I should be there at some point. Uh, maybe when the Giants are, are in Arlington. Um, but if not, at some point, I'll be there. I went there last year. We did a, a stadium review on the um, uh, Frisco Rough Riders. So that was a lot of fun. But, uh, Robert Luna, thank you so much for that $5 Super Chat. That means a lot. First time Super Chat, a long time subscriber, long time supporter in DFW. Okay. Do appreciate you very much. Uh, not today. I've been, uh, I've been doing some scouting and uh, I have lots of video and also I'll be putting out one or two uh, draft videos every day, getting ready for the draft coming up here. So, um, for sure, I have some guys that I like, some guys that I really like. Speaking of uh, Texas area, Texas Tech. Now, are, they're not in – no, Texas Tech, where are they from? Lubbock, Texas. I'm not sure where that is. But uh, they got some serious players that I'm hoping the Giants can snag in the draft. Can this team win it all? Any, any team can win it all. You get in the playoffs, you can win it all. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, but it all depends on if you can do that. If you can get in the playoffs, you can win it all. So right now, one win. I mean, I'm not going to jump to that kind of conclusion, but that's that's looking far ahead. Right now, we just got to get back on the right track and start winning games, start winning series. We don't have to win every game. We're not going to win every game, but we want to win more than we lose going forward. Um, DFW Pantera County. That's sick right there, Pantera County. Um, let's go Giants. Unofficial scout, Alberto Vasquez, unofficial scout. But I do put out videos. Anyone can be a scout. You go to games, you scout on, you put in this day and age, you put the stuff on Twitter, you put the stuff on YouTube, you tag teams, and you're a scout. You're not official. I don't get paid as a scout, but I I know there was a couple guys I found last year in very small schools that never anyone drafts from. I put all their stuff out there and they got drafted. And they even messaged me and were like, dude, thank you so much for, for putting me out there. So, you know, I can't say 100% if that's why they drafted them, but it doesn't hurt to give some or more exposure to some of these guys. And it could help my team if the Giants are to, to pull the trigger. I think uh, they can, Robert, I think they can as long as they put in the effort, game, this, the game and all, in the game and all. Uh, like, you know, World Series, I mean, you can never say we're going to win a World Series, but um, – there's 30 teams trying to do it. Well, maybe not 30, but there's like 20 teams trying to do it. There's probably 10 teams that aren't really trying that hard. But there are at least 20 teams that are thinking we're going to win a World Series. Only one is going to be the last team standing. Micah, I would love to. Dude, that's a dream job to be a scout, drive around, go to college games, high school games, and be a scout. That would be awesome. Actually get paid for it. Um, now, I kind of get paid for it because I, I got the YouTube channels, but um, that's one of my smallest uh, – uh, the most of most of my uh, most of home baby baseball successes from the documentaries and from you guys in the post game shows. Uh, Eric Miller needs a shout out. Eric Miller for two bucks. Eric Miller also I totally forgot he came in. I was thinking it was yeah Eric Miller came in and, and, and was lights out. Eric Miller was lights out again. He has looked great this year. What a, a nice pitcher for the Giants to bring up this year. And, uh, yeah, Eric Miller definitely deserves a shout-out. I forgot that he had also pitched. So Eric Miller, Rodgers, and then Doval finished out the game for um, uh, for win, for Keaton Wynn. Um, are you content Lee isn't leading off? I don't mind how they want to do the lineup is how they want to do the lineup. I've never been big. Like, the order is the order. Uh, I, like, I, I like Lee leading off or Wade because Wade can get on base one or the other. But, yeah, Bob Melvin's doing kind of all kinds of stuff and experimenting. 36,000 subscribers. I can't even say it and believe it. That is unbelievable. More than a third of the way to 100K. I know, I never thought 
it was even possible to reach 100K, and it still may not be, but a third of the way there, over a third of the way there is nuts. Um, it used to be 100K was like a big, like a seriously big YouTube channel. Um, so now, and eh, not as much, but as more and more people are doing it, but still, I'm very happy for 36K. 36K by opening day. Uh, Eric, who was the kid drafted after Bryce Eldridge? How's he doing this year? Was it Cole? Cole, uh, I can't remember his name offhand. Um, we actually drafted a couple guys. Cole may have been the third guy. His first name is Cole, and I can't think of his last name offhand. And the other guy, both, both I think, infielders, both offensive players, and they've been looking pretty good, but I can't. I can't place their name right offhand, um, but but they're all, they have all been doing fine. They're very low in the minor leagues. It's going to take a while to get through. Saw Patrick Bailey throw out with the uh, multi uh, Mutombo finger wave. Remember when you hit one thousand, road to forty k? Yeah, forty k is going to be nuts, and fifty k. Oh my gosh! But I did put out a documentary. I thought it was going to do well. It's kind of not really. It, it's. Uh, the top 25 most underrated active players, except I forgot one because he, he's not even on a team. So when I was looking through the rosters, I didn't see him. That's why I didn't see him because he wasn't signed. He just signed. And that's Donovan Solano. Donovan Solano is so underrated. He didn't even sign. Nobody would sign him. He had to sign a minor league deal. So um, and I, I can't even remember who he signed with, but I saw that he signed today. So congratulations to Donovan Solano. Oh, it was the Padres. He signed with the San Diego Padres. So Solano back in professional baseball. But uh, he is uh, a player. Just the Giants didn't treat him right by not giving him what he wanted, making him go to arbitration, sending him back into the Twins. I mean, that dude just rakes and it's crazy that he doesn't get more. Uh, I mean, he wouldn't even know what team would even sign him. Are the Giants going to sign Brandon Belt or even um, Evan Longoria? No, probably not. I would say no. I would say no. If they haven't signed any of those guys by now, they're not going to sign him. Evan Longoria, I don't know, he's probably retired. Evan Longoria, not, not maybe not technically, but I doubt we'll see Evan Longoria again unless he wants to sign a minor league deal. Brandon Belt, these guys want big league deals. These guys are big leaguers for many years, and they're not going to the minors. So Kevin Pilar, we didn't bring him back. Remember, we we, we didn't even offer him – we didn't even extend him a contract. Um, that was crazy. I was like, wow. Kevin Pilar was one of the most exciting players we had that season, Like. 2017, 2018, whenever that was, Kevin Pilar was one of the only guys we had. Then he went to the Dodgers. I don't know where he's at now. Um, Michael Roder, thank you again for the super chats. Jason Corner, Robert Luna, and Michael Roder again. Eric Miller definitely needs a shout out. Daniel Barry, sports highlights. Thank you guys so much. I do got my glove. Okay, Wilson, I'm ready to play. So we need to get to get together and have a full fledged game, nine on nine, um, and I can organize it. I can organize it and we can film it for the channel and uh, money paradise. What's going on? Kayla, Kayla, everybody else. Um, thank you guys so much. I did get word by the way, make sure everybody's thinking about Linda Rocha. She's having some health issues and she had emailed me said she's not going to be uh, coming to the streams anymore. She doesn't think she has that much time left. So uh, everybody keep Linda Rocha in your thoughts, prayers, if you pray, whatnot. So, uh, I told her that we'll be we're, we're missing her and uh, hope she can come back. Kayla, hey Daniel and Money. Well, Warriors lost yesterday, but it's okay. Go Giants. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, big W, and we'll take this win to the bank and cash it. And uh, time for the Diamondbacks. And uh, I think the Giants can can hold their own against the D-backs. This is a big series. This is the series. Yeah, it is really bad to hear. I was I was I was. Uh, I was I was affected. I was like, "What?" I guess you know, um, all the regular names are always here. So I hate to see someone leave, especially for that reason. I'm 70, can't see very well, so I'll umpire. Oh yeah, the umpires. I need to make a video on the three straight strikes from Angel Hernandez when he knew darn well those were balls. Are right, there's no excuse for it. There's no excuse that Major League Baseball has the most talented players in the world, but the umpires are far from that. It takes them a lot of work and effort and performance to get there. But once they're there, they are there. They're locked in for life. They can't be demoted. They can't be fired. I don't understand why that is. Why the umpires union is this powerful. 
Holy crap. The umpires union should be the same as the MLB union. Very powerful and everything, but not to the point that you can't even, you can't fire anyone for underperformance. Even the MLB union's not that strong. If you suck, you're gone. If you suck, you get demoted. You get released. You get DFA'd. You get traded. You're done. But as for umpires, you are literally in it for life. In it for life. That one man, I forgot his name. Um, I always forget this dude's name, but he's a terrible umpire. And uh, he ruined the 2020 season for the Giants on that last game. But that guy tweeted out that uh, uh, if they, um, uh, what did he tweet exactly? He said he was going to start another civil war with a RK, uh, with, 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 he could take a rifle and uh, RK-47 or something. I can't remember what it was. And he's going to take a rifle and he's going to start another civil war. If, uh, if, the, if, if the president was to get impeached, that's what he said. I can't remember his name. Um, now, did he keep his job? Absolutely. If a player said that, that player would probably be gone for life. I think they should use robo umpires all the time. Yes, we need robo umpires. Um, what was his name? I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't think of names for some reason. It's some block in my mind that I can't think of names. Um, but it wasn't Morales. Morales. You guys know who it was. 2020. Uh, yeah, Morales screwed us in the 2021 on the check swing that wasn't even close to a swing. Um, it was like this. But uh, umpires should have to negotiate their contracts every year. Why even keep track? Why even keep giving them a report card? Who cares? They can't get fired. They can't get demoted. It doesn't matter. They do whatever they want. Angel Hernandez had something against this kid because he was a rookie. Wyatt Langford's a rookie, so the strike zone expands to eight feet. And that pitch was so – all three were clearly balls. He knew it. Everyone in the park knew it. And he called him a strike anyway. I've talked about it. I have a whole video about him. Um, I just can't – his name's not popping in my head. But um, I probably have completely, you know, removed it from my mind. I probably it's it's something that I, you know, so like PTSD type thing. But um, yeah, I, I really I I I don't even like the ball strike system, the robo ups. But that's where we're at. We have no choice. Either fix the union so they don't have so much power, and you can actually demote these people or fire them. Oh, last year's is terrible. Or we got to bring in the ball strike system, the review system or something. You guys have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. I do appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here for now. Uh, thank you for the super chats. I do appreciate it. We'll be back in studio. Tomorrow. It's kind of hard for me to get in studio. I was trying to get back, but I didn't quite make it. It's kind of hard for me to get in studio for uh, super early games. But um, let's go against the Diamondbacks tomorrow. Until then, let's go Giants. I got the diamond back. I got the Giants winning tomorrow by a score of 26 to 0. So let's go Giants. Uh, that's a joke. I'll say the Giants will win, though, by a score of 6 to 4 tomorrow. Uh, let's make it happen, everyone. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. When the Giants.
Yes!